Hi everyone! Welcome back to read a Kids. My name is Miss Christy and today we're going to read about what might be a scary day, but it doesn't have to be. It's called The Night Before Preschool. Now, the night before preschool can be filled with all kinds of nerves and you're not sure if you're going to love preschool or not, but let's read this book and find out about his first day. The Night Before Preschool by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Amy Wummer. Twas the night before preschool, alarm clocks were set, all the children were cuddling their favorite plush pet. Monkeys and lions and soft bunnies too would be going to school like big boys and girls do. Parents set out clothes and clean underwear. Hoodies were hung by the front door with care. The children then nestled all warm in their beds while visions of playtime danced in their heads. But one little boy was still wide awake. He worried about preschool and the friends that he'd make. His tummy hurt, yet he didn't know why. He hid behind Mommy. He was feeling quite shy. Hi there, Billy, said Justin. He greeted each child by name. Gather round and we'll start with a fun clapping game. Kids sang songs and dance dances. They loved circle time. Then everyone listened to stories and a mother goose rhyme. They dressed up in clothes from the big costume box Look, I'm a pirate, and I'm Goldilocks. But Billy just watched other kids as they played. In the corner by himself was right where he stayed. He drew a dinosaur as tall as a tree. He showed it to Justin. That's great. Is it for me? Then the children picked up their crayons and toys and took a trip to the bathroom, one for girls, one for boys. Let's break for snacks, said Justin, but Billy pushed his aside. Then off the class marched for playtime outside. There were tricycles to ride in a big loop-the-loop, -loop, a garden to tend and sand piles to scoop. After hanging up jackets and wiping off shoes, they gathered their buddies for a quiet time snooze. The kids lay on their mats. Soon there wasn't a peep. All were quiet except Billy, who could not fall asleep. I can't take a nap without my teddy, Jerome. But he's not here, wailed Billy. I left him at home. When what to his watering eye should appear but a soft, fuzzy rabbit with a bow on its ear. It's okay, a little girl said. Here, take my bunny. And suddenly Billy's tummy stopped feeling so funny. Thanks, whispered Billy, snuggling up for a nap. And just like that, he was asleep in a snap. After nap time was over, he played with Charlene. I'll be the blue rings, said Billy, and I'll be the green. When out in the hallway there arose such a clatter, kids sprang to the door to see what was the matter. Parents rushed in wanting hugs and kisses. Billy's mom brought Jerome and asked, did you miss us? See you tomorrow, said Justin. Wow, the first day was done. I'll be back, Billy shouted. Preschool is fun. It turns out that even though he was a little bit scared and a little bit quiet, he ended up making a friend and having a great day at preschool, just like I'm sure you will. I loved reading this book with you, and I hope that we can read together again soon. If you click on the subscribe link below, You'll be able to see all the books we read in the future and all the ones we've read in the past. If you'd like to do some really fun activities that go along with the books we read, you can head over to readaroukids.com. 
There, we do really fun science experiments, arts and crafts, puzzles, and even some cooking. If you'd like to see what we're up to every day, you can follow us on our social media. I loved reading with you today, and again, I hope we can read together soon. Until then, Rita Roo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.